Coming up on South Florida Today, a photographer who understands your pet is a treasured family member and a work of art worthy of framing. This is NBC6 South Florida Today. Well, when you feel a regular snapshot won't do, celebrate your pet with a professional photo shoot. Acclaimed pet photographer and owner of Doggy Studio and Boutique, Shelly Gubrick, is here to show us how she captures canine motion. Hi, Kelly. Hi, I mean, how are Kelly. you? It's Shelly. Shelly. Yeah. Kelly's over there. You're Shelly. Yeah. Uh, how do you do this? How do you get pets to pose? So we give them about... Well, we, I would say 15 to 30 minutes, whatever it takes for them to calm down in the store and sniff around and get used to the area. And then we put them on the backdrop like you see here. Mm -hmm. And I have an assistant helping me, but the point is for them to be themselves. So it doesn't have to be sitting and we want them to, to show their real personality. Let's take a look at some of the pictures that you've, uh, the photos that you have brought with you and you can kind of tell us how you got there from here. Yeah. So th th this little guy. He is that, this is a real dog. Yeah. It looks. It looks almost unreal. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. And that's Zeke. Um, he's at our store there. And this is a family of dogs that we composed that picture and put it together. Mm -hmm. This is uh, an active dog that was jumping throughout the photo shoot. So we went ahead and got it, some pictures of him. That's our wine runner. What a great shot with the tongue out. Yeah. Hmm. She she loves doing that. And that's a whole family of dogs. To, and that shows you, you know, you can, we can get a bunch of dogs together and do this. It's, I'm not scared. I'm not scared to try five or six. Now, is this, uh, Shelley, a real photo or have you manipulated pictures to get them all in one shot? This is a real photo. This is not manipulated at all. This happened in 15 minutes or so. So it's just a matter of getting them calm where they're sitting. I want to get Kevin around here because I want I want him to get a picture of this this Weimaraner of yours. What, what's uh, what's what's his name? Zeke. Zeke is an absolutely magnificent <laughs> dog. Clear. This is your dog. Yeah. Clearly, all the dogs that come into your place are, are not going to be as calm and laid back oh. and, and <laughs> at ease as as this guy. Well, the more time we give them, they will. They will. Yeah. yeah so, but either way, it's. If they're, if they're active dogs, it doesn't, we want to get their personality. He's a calm dog, and if we have an active dog, we want to get that, that side of them. For those of us who are uh, animal lovers and, and uh, try to take pictures of our own animals, some tips. What's the common mistakes people make in taking pictures of their own dogs? Um, you always want to get at the level, eye level of the dog. You don't want to stand above them because then they look like they have a big head and a little body. So you want to get down at their level and you want to make little noises that you know they respond to. So he, he likes like squirrels or, or a ball and you say that and, and they respond to you and they perk up. I'm so glad you said get down to the level of a dog because it's just like with little kids. So many people when they take pictures of their children or their animals, they're always from above and you never really get a real view of the dog's eyes or yeah. its soul unless you get down there. At, it, at its level. Yeah, and they'll look at you more when you're at their level. I mean, they, they, once you're there and you're in their face, they're, they're active. They want to see you. They want to see what you'll do. I want your dog. Shelly, thank you very much thank for you. coming. Thank you. Good luck. You can get your own very own pet portrait at Doggy Studio and Boutique. It's at 5824 Southwest, 73rd Street in South Miami. The number right there on your screen, 305-722-8800.